Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to a fresh new video on the channel. In this video, we will be creating some neon lines animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. We will be using some built in effects and create this amazing looking animation. Now, this tutorial is inspired from the create pack made by Aloha FX. They have some amazing animation packed up in one single pack. So, I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check out that company complete package the link will be down in the description box below so with that said let's actually jump into the tutorial and get started Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition 1920 into 1080 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this main as our main comp hit OK. So I'll hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. Let's call this BG as this is going to be our background hit OK. Let's create one more solid. So hit Ctrl Y. This time I'm going to keep this white and call this lines underscore O one hit OK and go ahead and start building up those 3D lines which are not actually 3D but gives an illusion of 3D look. So let's go ahead and use an effect called star bust. So I'm using the FX console to browse my effects. Now, if you don't have the script, by the way, it's a free after effects script from Andrew Kramer video copilot. I'll mention the link down in the description below. And in case if you don't have the script and you want to access the effects, you can go into windows and then you can bring this up the effects and preset panel and you can type in any effect that you want. So in this case, I want the CC um, star boss. So I can just double click to apply that up or I can just select this layer, hit control space and then type in CC Stardust. So it saves a lot of time in browsing and going through effects. So I don't really use the effects and preset panel. So I'm going to use the effects console for the rest of my videos and all my tutorials. So we have a nice and simple star boss animation. So let's go ahead and, you know, tweak this according to our requirements. I'm going to increase the scatter amount a bit. So I'll bring that to somewhere around there. Let's um, keep the speed at one. You can also play around with the phase in case if you want to, but we don't really want that. Let's increase this grid spacing a bit. So somewhere around 25 looks good and bring down the size. So I'll bring this down to around 30. So that is looking um, pretty good, I think. Also, I'll add a really nice color to this. So we can use a nice darker pink color, which is one of my favorite. And then let's add an effect called CC light. And all these effects are in inbuilt effect. We don't need any plugins to create that. And using this effect, we're going to create those nice lines. So what we can do is let's play around with the ray lens. So I'll bring that at the back. So something like maybe let's go ahead with minus 100 should be good. Yep, that looks better we also have some burst effects that you can change but i'm going to leave it at fade and then i can add an effect called matte choker matte choker let's um bring down the let's actually let's actually bring down the choke one to minus maybe minus 127 looks good and everything else looks good we don't need to tweak any settings and there we go there we have a nice line animation. The size, I think it's a bit too big. So I'll go with something like 25. That looks much better. You can play around with the face also with the scatter. So I think I'm going to tweak this a bit. And yeah, that looks much better. Maybe bring down the grid to 20. Yep. That looks perfect. Now what I can do is I can hit control D to duplicate the layer rotate or change the phase amount and then change the color. So I'll actually go with a nice neon. I'm going to go with a nice cyberpunk style kind of color. So you can tweak the scatter as well to go ahead and add some randomness. Let's select this layer, hit control D again, scatter this a bit and let's go ahead and add a nice blue color. Maybe a bit darker. 
and yeah i think that looks pretty cool let's go ahead and create one more copy hit ctrl d and i'm gonna give it a nice purple color and maybe bring down the scatter a bit that is looking um pretty cool So yeah, you can tweak it according to your requirements and now we have a nice boss. We are, we are not done yet. Let's create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to right click, create a new adjustment layer, call this, um, let's call this maybe this, um, let's call this flow. All right. Then I'm going to use a very underrated effect called the flow motion. Now what I can do is now we have the not one and not two. So I want to position them into the center so actually i can just type in 960 by 540 to bring that point to the center and then i can just copy paste the same amounts here as well Control c and Control v then i can play around with the amount so i'll bring that down a bit to like maybe something like um minus 20 should work good and you can see we have a very crazy look so in case you want to use this kind of an effect, you can use that, but I'm going to move forward with this. I'm going to increase the amount a bit so you can go pretty intense as you can see, but let's see, I'll go with somewhere around maybe, um, let's go with 300 and also make sure to turn on the finer controls. So we get a very nice look as you can see, if I just preview this now, it's a bit heavy effect. But at the moment, at the edges, we get this really um, weird stuff happening. So to fix this, I can create a new adjustment layer called this CC and add an effect called CC lens. And this can help us to get rid of those things. Let's increase the size to 200. And let's add a transform on this and maybe scale the height to around 110 there we go we have our really nice background 3d stroke animations whatever that you want to call it ready to roll but still it looks pretty um sim simple and not that you know vibrant so to do that i can add some nice glow to this so what i'll do is actually i'll select all the layers hit Control shift c to precompose them call this um b let's call this animation actually Hit OK and let's add a glow on this. Maybe add a bit just like so. Let's hit Control D to duplicate it and increase the spread to add a nice um, glowing look. And now you can see we have some really nice neon -y look. Now you can do some crazy stuff with this line. For example, what I can do is Actually, let's bring the background out. So I'll hit Control X and Control V to paste it out. So what I can do is I can also add an effect called 12. And 12 this up a bit, just like so. Let me increase this a bit, something like that. And you can see we get some very interesting animation. So you can use this as a background or else what one more thing cool thing that you can do is let's create actually a new um, camera 35 millimeters looks good hit OK let's pre comp this so hit control shift C move all attributes and I'll call this maybe main underscore a for main animation hit OK make it a 3d and rotate this a bit so I'll just rotate it maybe something like that just something like so select c to select the camera and pan this pretty nice and close let me tweak this a bit and zoom in like so there we go then go into camera hit a two times to reveal all the properties turn on the depth of field and increase the aperture really high and play around with the focus distance. I'm going to bring this a bit closer into the center. Really nice and 
proper you play around with the blur a bit now you have a very interesting look you can position this accordingly according to your requirements maybe something like um just a touch and that is looking actually pretty cool also what you can do is hit ctrl d to duplicate it and hit p and adjust the position of this one to add some nice depth actually i can turn off the camera for now select this and create a mask so something like that turn on this and you can see we have a very interesting look let's add some mask feather I can place one right here. Control D duplicate it and place one right over here actually. Or maybe I can place one right here. And if I let's actually preview this now the comp is pretty heavy because we are using some really in GPU intensive effects. So you can see this looks super cool. You can also add some camera animation, use your creativity and create your amazing looking background animation. So, so that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then please do consider subscribing to the channel, sharing this video with your friends and also liking this. Do let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this tutorial or if you learn anything new. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then. Take care, thank you so much for watching and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.